Been studying that book of Enoch. No, the world's not going to end. But all those out here that's claiming to be prophetess and pastors and, and preachers. Oh, when that time comes, they're going to be rid of. Those who do the deeds, those who speak on love, those who don't gossip, those will be the ones that will have everlasting life. And that's when the world will be a world of peace. So I'm almost halfway through the book of Enoch, which was taken out of the Bible, which started with the Egyptians until it made its way through Christianity. So in that Sunday book, when it says the earth will be renewed with one foot on the earth or on this universe, and that will be a fire. That fire is all those evil, bitter souls and spirits that are walking around and sheep's clothing, those of greed, those who pass judgment, those will be the ones that the Most High is going to rid of this universe. Those who are living this gift called life will have everlasting life. So again, be careful of your words. Be careful of the deeds you do. There's good deeds and there's evil deeds. When you purposely go out to hurt someone and when you go so far as to dig all and every social network and dig and try to find anything to purposely hurt that person. Those are the ones that are going to be rid of. And it won't be by the hand of man. It will be by the hand of the Most High. So, like I said, this whole thing is a beast, a beast. I know what my spirit was before I got on here. And you see, I, I'm not on here. If I'm on here, it's listening to Boss Lady. It's listening to Miss Gina. And then it's going past and watching all these adults making fools out of themselves with hats on, hair on, grown people, and them picking and choosing who they going to just lay in and lay in and talk about and talk about their business and talk about going up to people's children's jobs. Those are going to be the ones. That calendar, we go by 365 days. Biblically, it was 360 days. And I will go more into that. But Enoch prophesied all of this before Christ. 
and things were added on after Christ. And as it said in the book of Enoch, there will be more prophets. But in order for you to recognize them, your spirit has to be right. No one on this earth is perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect person. We all have our shortcomings. But do we recognize them? That's the thing. If you recognize your shortcomings and you humble yourself, And you change your ways. But don't think when that day comes that you can just pop down on your knees and ask for forgiveness. Doesn't work that way. It's what did you do in this lifetime? Not only will those pure in spirit live on forever, but those pure in spirit will rise and live on. With me and this little beast and seeing how people are laid into their personal business put out. And I see on Lincoln, where I had searches. I mean, y'all, y'all really digging. Y'all really are digging to find some dirt on me. You're not gonna find it. <laughs> I don't get on here and lie. I'm very transparent. I don't get on here and lie. I don't get on here and sit up and make you think I'm somebody that I'm not. I don't sit back and go back and forth and back and forth with a grown ass adult. I don't do that. Negativity is out of my way. If you got negativity around you, keep it right where it's at. Peace and love. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. Those in the light, stay in the light. Don't let these people in the dark bring you down. They're bringing themselves down.